guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Gotta get that right there. Oh, man. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, playing a little bit of Metal Slug here. Uh, off the Wii. Uh, playing through a, a Neo Geo CD emulator. Yep. Oh, what? Y'all haven't got the Neo Geo CD working yet? Oh, hold up a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You mean to tell me you guys haven't got the Neo Geo CD working yet? On the Wii. Oh, man, y'all missing out, man. Uh, I admit the emulator itself is pretty easy to install, you know, get get going. But as for the games, uh, they are pretty tricky. Uh, it's very time-consuming getting just one game done. Uh, so I can understand that. Uh, but, yeah, uh, you know what? You know what, I got plenty of time here. I got a lot of time on my hands right now. So uh if you want to join me over to the computer, man, uh I'd be I'd be happy to show y'all how to get it how to get it going and uh get y'all playing. Cause y'all man, y'all really missing out. So uh yeah. Uh follow me over to the computer and I'll show you. Okay, fellow gamers. Uh First thing is first, we're going to get this uh, Neo Geo uh, City emulator. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I did skip ahead a little bit and went ahead and downloaded this Metal Slug uh, ROM that you heard me playing just a second ago. Uh, because of the fact that it, it does take a little while to download. And then as I want to kind of keep this video down to a minimum I, just, I went ahead and did that so uh, we're going to get right on to it first thing is first is the emulator which you'll find here just all these uh, programs and things will be under the description uh, so don't worry about it um, this is the Neo CD 0.5 and we're going to come down here and hit this download button here download it Create your directory, might as well be the desktop, and simply hit pay, uh, uh, save. Okay, move her on over here. We'll extract it, and we'll also move the folder over here just to keep it kind of organized. Now, if you're familiar with the Wii, you're going to have two, maybe three folders. Uh, you're surely going to have this apps folder. Uh, if you do not have the apps folder onto your SD card, just simply drag and drop this entire folder onto your root of your SD card. Now, if you do have this folder, just simply take the contents of that folder and drag and drop it into the apps folder on your SD card. Simple as that. Uh, this Neo CD folder, this is good. This is going to be your game folder. You simply go into it, and as you can see, it says put game folders here. So, yeah, this is simply where you're going to put all your games at. This is the folder, guys. Um, if, you're, if you're not running iOS 202, then you would simply just drag and drop this onto your SD card. Put all your games into that folder onto your SD card. Now, if you are running iOS 202, uh, you can simply uh, just drag and drop this onto your flash drive or your hard drive or whatever and that will be able then you're able to boot up from either your flash or your uh, hard drive using the iOS tool too. <clears throat> that, I mean that's what I use. I pretty much try my best to boot everything up from my USB, uh, my hard drive because the fact, you know, I, I, I want to save space on my SD card, plain and simple. So, that's why I do that. Okay? Now, secondly, we're going out for our BIOS. Now, our BIOS, again, is going to be in the description. Uh, it's going to be located in uh, Dope ROMs. Uh, you simply just scroll down, 
this download section here you simply hit download create a directory desktop and that's the end of that and we have a file here simply extract ink our folder back over here keep it organized and there's the neocd.bin file that we need 512 kilobytes that's exactly what we need so I'll go ahead and show you guys my SD card real quick like um, there's my SD card uh, and like I said this folder that we had extracted here it was showing up the ASP folder and the Neo CD folder. Now, the ASP folder I was talking about, there's my apps folder. Within that folder, I've got the Neo CD, which is my emulator. This is my emulator. This is where you'll put your, uh, your folder at, guys, from your ASP folder that you had extracted. Okay? Now, as for your BIOS, this little guy right here, neocd.bin, 512 kilobytes. Alright, what I simply did, I created a folder here called BIOS. Within that folder, there you go guys, neocd.bin, 512 kilobytes. That's where you're going to put your BIOS. It's basically the root of your SD card. That's it. That's it. Um, now as for this this folder here, like I said, if you're not running the iOS 202, you simply just drag and drop this folder onto the root of your SD card right in this area. As for me, I don't do that. Mine is on my uh, hard drive, which I will show you right now. This is my hard drive. It's called the Black Box. And right here guys as you can see neo cd and here's all my games i've got like a little over 90 games in here <clears throat> now most of these games i did not do what i'm do what i'm showing you right now and i will show you right now if you sign up for this website here called dark umbra you can scroll down and there's a package which includes the uh, Neo, Neo Geo CD version 0.5 you also have 85 games 85 games already done for you what I'm about to show you and also two forwarders right here uh, the game list here's just some of the games here that you'll be getting uh, there's a lot more uh, but yeah like I said there's 85 games uh, it's well worth it guys so go ahead and uh, check into that uh, but yeah um, next thing we're going to do we're going to open this folder here up and since we already got our, our, our game here we're going to extract it it's gonna take a minute. <clears throat> this is a tricky part, guys. You need to really, 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 really pay attention on what's going on right here. <clears throat> You gotta do this on every single game. That's what I'm saying, it's very time consuming. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this folder up and we simply have all these files here. Uh, this file here, if we go to properties, it is an ISO file, as you can see. Um, all the rest of these files here are WAV files. These, these are sound these are music files okay what we're going to do within this folder here we're going to create us another folder and we're going to call it mp3 okay now we're going to take all these WAV files here except the very bottom one that this is a Q file 
So we're going to simply just drag and drop every one of those into here. Okay, got me? Okay. Now, now these two files, what we're going to do with these two files, we're simply going to uh, open this with Ultra ISO. Okay, here's our files within that ISO file. So we're going to click on that. We're going to we're going to hit Control A to highlight every one of them, and we're going to go to Extract Two. Now we need to find we need to find this folder right here, the Metal Slug folder. So we're going to scroll on down. There it is, right there. There it is, right there. And we're going to hit OK. Now, as you can see, all of our files are extracted into that folder. There's our MP3 files. Well, they're not exactly MP3 yet. They're, these are still WAV files, which we have to convert over to MP3. If you want sound for your game. Now, <clears throat> what you need to remember is this folder name, this folder, and then the MP3. Okay, that's what you you need you need to remember. So uh, this will also be on the link in the description under the description. Um, now this is called Bulk Extension Changer. It's not, it's not as difficult as it seems, guys. Uh, number one here, choose the location to search for your files. Like I said, remember your folder, okay? So what we're simply going to do is we're going to go <coughs> to our desktop, and we're going to look for this metal slug folder, which is right here. Click on it. We're going to click on it again click on it again and hit open now we have set our directory now let's go ahead and uh, go down to our next section here I should have hit remove but basically what this is it says set the extensions to look for and what to replace it with now within our file here we have wave files Okay, that's what we have. So, our extension right now is WAV. That is our current extension. Now it's asking you right here, replacement, what you want to change it to. Okay, so what do, what do we want to change it to? We want to change it to MP3. Okay, so now all we have to do, all we got to do now is come down here and says press go and see the results. Uh, I say magic uh, and see the, see the magic. I, I mean, this is just, I mean, it's so quick. So you just hit go and bam. Uh, on this side, on your left hand side, this is your WAV files. On this side, this is what it has changed to. Okay? So. Now if we, if we uh, right click and go to properties, as you can see they are now MP3. And if you highlight every one of them, go to properties, it says all type MP3. And there you go. Now, here is the pain in the butt part guys. Here is the pain in the butt part. Now. <clears throat> okay, well first, starting off with the first file, you always want to start off like this right here. Go to rename, and hit track 02. You always want to start with track 2, okay? And then your next one, rename. Track zero three. 
and so on, all the way until you get to the end, which you, you probably have maybe uh, 20 of them. Well, yeah, yeah. See, as you can see, it says track 20, 20. Uh, so you had 19 or 20 because we started with track 2. So it's either going to be track 19 or 20 to do all these right here. Okay? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. I'm going to go ahead and do this for you. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm finally done here. Um, as you can see, it is track 02 through track 20. That's that's what you need to do. You have to rename all the tracks just like that right there. Uh, I know guys it's a pain in the butt, it's very time consuming, but that's just what you have to do. Um, just make sure whatever game you download, do a, do a uh, like a review on it, go to YouTube and see how they play it, see if it's any good. If it's really something you would like to play, then do this. I mean, that's what I do um, because I'm not going to sit here and do all this work and then I hate the game and I'd be so ticked off. No, that's not going to happen. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all you got to do, guys. And you can sit here and you can simply uh, rename it, really. Uh, let's see. What on it? Whoa, what, a, what in the world am I naming this sucker? Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> we can name it Metal Slug here, uh, and then you just simply, guys, just drag and drop it right into your Neo CD uh, folder, whether it be on your SD card or your uh, USB hard drive or flash drive, and that is it. I mean, and you're ready to rock and roll, seriously. So, uh, guys, I hope that helped you out. I know, I know it's a pain in the butt. Uh, I get frustrated on doing this. And like I said before, I mean, if you see a, a, a catchy uh, title to a game, be sure to check it out before you, uh, before you download it and do all this mess to it. Because uh, you, you'd really, uh, you don't know, you really be burned out of it really quick if you do it that way. So uh, I recommend it this way. So uh, that's it, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go back on over there and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish my game up. Uh, I'm gonna chill out and and have a little bit of fun. So. Uh, I'll check y'all out later. Oh, oh, oh! It's nice to be back on the comfortable couch. Uh, after helping you guys out, I hope it helps you guys out. Uh, now you can go out and have as much fun as I'm having. Uh, I'm gonna finish the night out. I'm gonna finish this uh, game up and sip on a little bit of my wine here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, hey, if y'all have any questions, then, uh, leave a, a comment below, and, uh, hey, man, I'll get, I'll surely get back to you, because I love helping people out, all right? So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and the next video, the next tutorial, whatever, you know, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.